pickups are the top-selling vehicles in the U.S. new vehicle market, with Ford Motor, General Motors, and Stellantis NV's Ram brand dominating the gasoline-powered segment and generating large portions of those companies' profits. While GM and Ford plan to introduce electric pickups with the intention of continuing their dominance, yet another startup is entering the battery-powered pickup arena, and this latest entry may just have the quirky looks needed to take on the upcoming Cybertruck. The electric vehicle firm Canoe took the wraps off of a striking truck it says will hit the street come 2023. Canoe said in a statement that the company designed the vehicle, quote, to be the most cab-forward and space-efficient on the market, with massive cargo capacity on the smallest footprint possible. If this statement holds true, the Canoe can be a big competitor in the ever-changing pickup truck market. Today, we'll reveal the all-new Canoe pickup truck and discuss how it can change the pickup industry forever. Welcome to Tech Archives. Features and Specs What makes this car so special? Well, there are a plethora of features that can help the Canoe pickup shine. Canoe's EV platform functionally integrates all the critical components of an electric powertrain to be as flat as possible. Traditional EV platforms have power units, shock towers, and mechanical steering columns that protrude into the vehicle and take up space. By incorporating steer-by-wire and other space-saving technologies, Canoe's thin platform, with no need for an engine compartment, allows the company to offer a flatbed size comparable to America's best-selling pickup truck on a smaller footprint. This makes the vehicle easier to maneuver and more convenient to drive and park in any terrain. The flat front design, which is similar to a van, basically puts the driver almost on top of the truck's front wheels, allowing for more storage space in the cab and in the rear cargo bed. The pickup features a front cargo storage area that can hold tools or gear. Both sides of the vehicle house a flip-down table in two expandable depths. Built into the side panel of the truck bed, the flip-down side table becomes a workbench with electrical plugs accessible on all sides of the vehicle. Power can last all day for tools and devices with as little as 10% impact on vehicle range. The workstation table is extendable to allow customers to have maximized work surface on the go. In addition to providing an area to put gear on before heading out exploring, offering the greatest customer utility. On the side of the vehicle, there is a hidden step to allow quick and easy access to the truck bed. Underneath the step is a flexible storage area for items including a first aid kit, cooler for snacks and drinks, lockable laptop storage, and more. This space-efficient feature is only possible due to Canoe's ultra-flat platform. The six-foot-long rear cargo bed has an overall payload capacity of 1,800 pounds. The truck clocks in at 184 inches in length. In comparison, Tesla's Cybertruck is 231 inches long, and the Rivian R1T is 218 inches. But where Canoe's model stands out is in its pull-out bed extension, which stretches the truck bed from 6 feet to a fully enclosed 8 feet, and extends the length to a more competitive 213 inches. This allows big items such as a 4x8 sheet of plywood to easily fit inside. The pull handle bed extension also helps with loading and unloading the truck. The extension also serves as a license plate holder. When the bed is extended, a second layer of tailgate doors can be swiveled out. The bed extension also houses a secondary lamp containing all taillight functions, so the truck can be driven while the bed space is maximized. The truck bed is modular with the use of Canoe's space divider system designed to keep items separate and secure. The bed wall also incorporates modular wheel chocks to secure bikes and configurable tie-downs for ladders, large equipment, and other materials. The third brake light doubles as an overhead light to see inside the cargo bed at night. The vehicle is also equipped with perimeter lighting on all sides of the bed wall for added visibility. The interior comes with two seats up front and a rear seat that customers can configure with additional seats or other customizations. The modular design allows truckers to tailor their car depending on the situation. This unique engineering by Canoe took into careful consideration for both functionality and design. Canoe says the electric pickup will feature up to 600 horsepower, 550 pounds of torque, and a battery range of more than 200 miles. That range falls short of some other electric pickups likely to hit the market in the next year or two, including Tesla's Cybertruck with a range of 250 to more than 500 miles depending on the version in 2022. Camper Shell The pickup truck has been designed to accommodate a variety of camper shells to fit as many use cases as possible. The pickup truck is the third vehicle that will be based on the company's proprietary multi-purpose platform architecture, enabling the accelerated development timeline. 
With its new pickup, Canoe also takes aim at the outdoorsy crowd that the competing startup Rivian is targeting as well. The startup says there will be cargo racks available, along with a variety of camper shells. The pullout step also doubles as a drawer where Canoe says owners can put their cooler. Like Canoe's other vehicles, the pickup has all kinds of options to change it. The pickup is also designed to fit, quote, a variety of camper shells, the company said, which would allow drivers to convert the electric truck into a mobile camper with additional storage and space for sleeping. There's even a rooftop tent, at least in photos, which suggests that Canoe is thinking about an accessories business to go along with its vehicles. The startup initially announced a pill-shaped EV it plans to sell under a subscription model, but has since pivoted to offer commercial vehicles that people can actually own. In December, it announced a lineup of delivery vans of various shapes and sizes and is now moving into pickup trucks. The pickup will be aimed at both consumer and commercial customers and has the potential to be a high volume vehicle, creating the need for a smaller scale, highly automated factory. Canoe is negotiating with states about a potential site and the company will still use a contract manufacturer to build its lower volume vehicles. Canoe faces a crowded field of electric pickups expected to reach the public in the coming years, including the Cybertruck, as well as pickups from other electric startups like Rivian, Nikola, Lordstown Motors, and Bollinger Motors. Meanwhile, traditional automakers are also entering the fray, with Ford expected to release an electric version of its best-selling F-150 pickup truck in 2022, and General Motors planning to release electric trucks from its Hummer and Chevrolet brands. Will Canoe be a prominent contender in the future of pickups? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more videos like this.